Tina Institute and welcome back to Stardew Valley Expanded here with me T Addict. How are you guys doing? I hope it is fantastic and I hope you have a nice hot cup of tea ready for today's episode. I've got a cup of Tetley black tea with some almond milk. It's quite nice. And apparently the weather forecast for today is that it's going to be clear and sunny all day and our luck stat is not great. The spirits are somewhat annoying today. We also have an episode of Living Off the Land to watch so let's take a look at that. Um, so this one's for you folks living in Stardew Valley. Wow, that's me! Check the spring onions southwest of town where the river meets the ocean. You can sometimes find a whole bunch growing right out of the dirt. Thank you! I totally knew that. Also, I realised I just had um, time frozen while I did that. Whoopsies! Okay, we have a cutscene! Yay! Oh, it's not quite a cutscene. It's just a little... Hello, good morning from Clint. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding... Oh, that's good! If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Can you teach me how to make one, Clint? Just so happens I had an extra set of blue pinks lying around here. I want you to have them. Wow, thank you so much. You know, really, when you think about it, that's probably a pretty poor business decision on Clint's part because if he was the only person who, like, could smelt out ores for us, then we would have to go and see him a lot more often. <laughs> when you smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. Will do, my friend. Will do. Okay, so that's that looks like all of the events for this morning, so that is fine. So I actually can't really remember what we were up to in the last episode, uh, to be perfectly honest. I think we went fishing, which is great. We love, we love fishing. And I know we were clearing out a bit more of our farm, and I think I was wanting to plant a few more crops, which would make a lot of sense. Would also be really good to continue sort of, yeah, clearing out our farm today, gathering some more resources, and then maybe we could also craft up some footpaths and fences and fun things like that. We really need to work on improving our skills so that we can unlock some more crafting recipes. That would be ideal. Um, let's just cut that back from there. Because yeah, the more things we can craft, the easier potentially we are going to make our lives. So if we just take a look at the moment, we can craft a gate, a fence, we can craft gravel and cobblestone paths, and we can craft signs and wild seeds. Ooh. Ooh, actually, yes, no, I remember what we were gonna do today. I discovered a new area, that's right, that I was gonna go down and explore. Ooh, how exciting. Okay, well, we'll we will head straight down that way then and see if we can find out what's going on down in that mysterious area of town that I've like deep in the forest somewhere amazing also thank you so much to everyone who went ahead and tracked what that guy who lives down here does like what his movements are i do have those comments available for me to look at i don't have them with me right now but i will definitely take a look at them and see if we can run into what's his face i can't even remember his name right now <laughs> good job um at some point in today's episode and then also there was the guy who, the other guy who works at jojama who i remember one of you said he works on saturdays so we'll have to try to make sure to meet him on saturday as well which is very exciting actually how are we going with our quests introductions 28 out of 31 okay that's really good Here's the bridge I'm looking for. What's your name again, sir? I don't remember. Andy, and look, Andy's actually here. Oh my God, hello. Would you look at that? It's the new farmer everyone's been talking about. Finally moved to the valley, I see. I've been working Fairhaven Farm for many years. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Good for you, mate. What else do you have to say for yourself? You're lucky you got that free property from your grandpa. Uh, yes. Yes, I am. Thank you very much. Okay, apparently that's all he has to say. Cool, well, at least we met him, finally. <laughs> Wonder if we'll be able to make friends with Andy. I mean, heart, part of me doesn't want to make friends with Andy because, you know, he's wearing a Jojo Mart hat and we are very much anti Jojo Mart. So I think it was just this way? Yes. Ooh, mysterious new area. What, ooh, hello. What will we f find? What is even here? Lots of forests. Okay, can we? It looks like there's like a little secret. Oh, hello. A little secret area in here, maybe, but I'm not sure if we can get in there. Hmm. Let's continue on this way. Keeping an eye out for forestables and anything that is interesting. Forestables? Forageables. I can't remember if I said the right word. Hello, a sign! Aurora Vineyard. Ooh. Is there another vineyard down here? Hello? The Dawkins residence, Aurora Vineyard. Wow. Anna Canyon, Georgia Cola, sure. 
Oh, well, this, um, this looks a little overgrown. Wow. Okay. The table has cobwebs and mold on it. Aurora Vineyard bankrupt. Oh, due to something, something. Stardew Val, the effects, lower demand of crops. Local farmers are unable to find vendor or something to sell something. There's an expected something in something, something, something. The Ferngill government has administered a something to help farmers. Mayor Lewis, farmer of Stardew Valley, financial insecurity? Oh, that's quite interesting. And we've got a soggy newspaper, wonderful. Okay. So that seems like a bit of a new mystery for us to figure out. How exciting. Ooh, I think there's like a downstairs there. But we can't get in there. Okay. Wow, this is a massive house. Oh my goodness. Everything's a bit smashed and broken. But I mean like, this place looks like it would be pretty amazing. Mold is growing in these moving boxes. Can we open the moving boxes? No. Okay. Wow. This is almost, yeah, this is almost as big as like the mansion of the new family in, in actual Stardew Valley. This is crazy. What's that? Oh, that's bottles <laughs> and trash. And my inventory is full. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, we're going to have to get rid of the soggy newspaper and we can probably just drink the Joja Cola, give ourselves a bit of energy. Yeah, why not? Who knows how long it's been sitting there for, but eh. it's totally worth it. Oh my gosh, it just goes on and on and on. Look at this. Even more. What the heck? Oh my goodness. More. Oh my giddy arm. Ooh! What? What? We got an ancient sword? We got two ancient swords. Three ancient swords. What the heck has happened down here? There's been some, some kind of like battle royale going on down in this section of Pelican Town, apparently. This is like the mega secret forest. Well, how far across this way does it go? So we went down that way and found a bunch of swords. What about... Oh my gosh, it's already two o'clock in the afternoon. We have not accomplished much today. <laughs> This looks like it might be the boundary. It goes up such a long way. Oh my goodness. Uh, we're still going. Okay. <laughs> what the heck? We're still going. Ooh. Okay, so there's some maple syrup here. Um, sure. Doesn't look like anyone is home. Okay, so someone might live out here? Maybe the people who used to own the vineyard now live in a cave up here. Or something like that. How the heck did I get in here? Uh-oh. I better not get stuck down here and pass out. That would actually be really bad. Let's go this way. This way, yes. Good, okay. Now where are we? Is this back at the house? This is back at the house. Okay. Wowzers. This place is completely insane. And I'm stuck again. I just wanted to double check I didn't miss anything. But I don't think I have. Okay, wow. All right, well, it's almost 6 p.m. So I feel like we should probably head home because we've literally spent the entire day running around exploring this new for like forest area. But it definitely seems like there's a huge mystery to be solved um, about what happened to... Yeah, Aurora Vineyard and the owners. There was the mention of, I think, some of the other towns that were introduced. Oh, hello. Um, in Stardew Valley Expanded, like Grampleton and the other one that now I can't remember what it's called. Um, oh, okay. Heaps and heaps of, like, yeah, um, forageables down here. So at least we might up our foraging skill somewhat today, <laughs> even if we haven't accomplished much else, but... 
Yeah, so I wonder how we go about filling in the rest of the missing information for that piece of paper we were looking at. That will be an interesting mystery to solve. So a big part of Stardew Valley, <laughs> definitely in the beginning especially, is just running around everywhere. Just fairly aimlessly, just along the paths and uh, wishing you had a horse to ride so you could get places faster. But don't worry guys, eventually you do get a horse that you can ride around and it makes moving around a lot more straightforward. I also just remembered that we still haven't met Sam, so I wonder if he's actually in the saloon tonight with Sebastian playing... Pool? No, he's not. Damn it. Okay. Shane's here though, and we can just say hi to everyone. What do you want? Leave me alone. Nice to see you too, Shane. Oh, here's. Oh, so he's here on a Thursday night, guys. Okay, so that's good to know. After trying so hard to eat meat Andy all week, he's just in the saloon on a Thursday. Nice. Very nice. Thank you, Emily. Love your cute dress. You look adorable. Um, okay, so yeah, that was a good day. <laughs> Maybe let's just check the calendar. Oh, and someone wants something. Penny wants a sardine. 120 gold makes Penny happy. Sure, Penny. I can do that for you. Okay, we didn't miss anyone's birthday, so that's good. Mayor Lewis's birthday is coming up on Saturday, so I'll have to remember that. I'll have to see if I can have get like have anything for him that he would like. I'm pretty sure one of Mayor Lewis's favourite things, if I remember correctly, is blueberries, but... We obviously don't have access to blueberries just yet, so that'll be something to keep in mind maybe for next year. Oh, 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 it's a good quality one. Okay, well, can I actually, I can. Oh, nice. Okay, so I just crafted up some wild spring seeds um, and I'm going to plant those and grow them because that'll give us a really nice little harvest in a couple of days. Um, the only problem is, of course, we're going to have to water them, <laughs> which is going to be a bit of a pain. But I might do, so I've got 20 seeds, so I might just do two lots of 10. Um, whoops, I did not mean to do that one. Can I? Yep, I can. Nice. Two new garden plots. And plant all of our wild seeds and essentially oops i missed one that'll give us a massive harvest of dandelions and daffodils and leeks and whatever else you can get um in spring as forageables as wild forageables um so yeah that'll be really good that'll be a nice bit of gold when those things have grown which we love because we are very poor and need all the gold we can possibly get <laughs> So yes, I will go ahead also and just refill my watering can before we go to bed, which will mean I don't have to do it in the morning, which is always very helpful. And then tomorrow, I guess, I think our parsnips will be ready tomorrow, which is very exciting. We should be able to, might keep that maple syrup. Um, yeah, we should be able to do something with that, sell that and get a bunch of gold for that. So that'll be very exciting. So let's just head to bed. Sorry guys, that probably wasn't a very interesting day for you all to watch, but it's very interesting for me to play running around in the forest, finding mysterious areas, abandoned vineyards and ancient swords. Love that for us. Mm, sip of tea. Right, and it is day five of spring. Woohoo, look at us go, it's Friday. Okay, so weather forecast for tomorrow, clear and sunny all day, no worries. Fortune teller, spirits feel neutral today, today is in your hands. Okay, thank you very much. So, oh no, a crow has eaten one of my parsnips. Oh, you jerk, you jerk. That's why we need a scarecrow, but I don't think I have that recipe unlocked yet. Which is very, very upsetting. Oh, that's so rude. Dang it, we almost made it through. Anyway, hello Bonnie, my name is Susan. Lewis told me you're the new farmer in town. I'm trapped on my farm in the mountains, so I can't say hi in person. Hopefully the mess Jojo made will be cleared out soon because I'm going a little stir crazy. Can't wait to meet you and see how the farm is shaping up. Susan, wow, thank you so much, Susan. To our value Georgia Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal, pursuant to a blah, 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 blah. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. Lies. Lies and deceit. We apologise for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we valued your continued support and blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure that means that the mines are now open. So that could be a fun adventure for today. We could head to the mines and try um, clearing a couple of levels. Of course, it's always very slow going in the mines in the beginning because our tools suck. <laughs> but we can give it a go. Should be a bit of fun and then with my parsnips i'm probably going to need some of those for the community center i think but i also really want to sell a lot of them so i can get gold and plant more 
What I might do is actually head to Pierre's and sell them directly to Pierre so I get the gold for them immediately. I'm not entirely sure if that is the same, like worth the same as selling them in the sale bin or not, but right now I want the immediate money, so <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna head over to Pierre and do that. We've also got these ancient swords that I need to drop off at the museum. Um, so we'll go ahead and take care of that as well. Okay, yes. Oh wow, hello, so getting started. Oh, we got 100 gold for that, nice. Robin, oh, we can now build a coop, okay, but that we don't have nearly enough money for that. And now we need to craft a scarecrow because, oh yeah, and Penny wants a sardine or something. Yeah, so we got the crow. Oh, oh, purple. Hello, bunny. You see this dog here? I do see this dog here. Hello, cutie. Oh gosh, what are we gonna name our dog? What should I name my dog? Ralph. Okay, we're naming the dog Ralph. I found a city outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray, poor thing. Oh, little Ralph. Hey, it seems like seems to like this place. Hey, um, don't you think this farm could use a good dog? Yes. Oh, that's so exciting. We got our puppy, little Ralph. It's like rough. Well, Ralph, you be a good pooch, okay? Yeah. Oh, that's so much fun. I'm so happy. Okay, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was checking if I had a sardine. I'm pretty sure I do. Yes, I do have a sardine. Nice, okay. So what we might do is that as well. So I've got a little bit more room in my inventory and actually <laughs> running backwards and forwards like an idiot. I'm gonna leave my fishing rod here because I'm probably not gonna need it in the mine. And I'm also gonna leave my ax here because we are definitely gonna go ahead and check out the mine. Um, the watering can is something else I will not need. Do we have anything? Got a couple of leeks that I could eat. Um, when I no doubt get hungry in the mine, but yeah, I guess we'll take one leek <laughs> that we can eat when we're in the mine. Oh, another cutscene. Oh, we're loading up on the cutscenes today. This is very exciting as well because this is a community center getting unlocked. Yay! Oh, hi there. Hi, Mayor Lewis. How you doing, friend? What an eyesore. It's, it's, it's seen better days, mate. This is Pelican Town's community center, or what's left of it anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Yeah, not anymore, buddy, not anymore. Now just look at it, it's shameful. These days the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. <laughs> yeah, guilty as charged. <laughs> but listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Jaja Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could sure use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old times like me get attached to relics of the past. Ah, well. If anyone else buys a Joja Co. membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. Don't do that, Mayor Lewis. No. <sighs> Here, let's go inside. Okay, sure. Why not? Let's go into a creepy abandoned old town centre building. What could possibly happen? He took his hat off. What? Hmm? What's that? Well, I guess Vista and Jazz must have been playing in here. No, darling, that is called a Junibo hunt. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Woo! Hi, little Junibo. Look how cute they are. Hello, friend. What? <gasps> and it's gone. What a mystery. What's the matter? Are you ill? I saw something in the corner. Ah, oh, it must have been my imagination. You saw something? Hmm, I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. <laughs> ah, there's another one. Look at her little face. <laughs> so cute. Oh, dear. You're worrying me, Bonnie. Look, I think I'm going to have to head home. I need some lunch. It's not lunchtime. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe if you can help catch that rat if you have a little extra time. Oh, buddy, I'll help you with your rat problem. Don't you worry about that. Strange, dot, dot, dot. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Yes, yes, I will. We are going to be very regular visitors of the community centre. 
So this is the community center and in here um, we have a lot of different like quests essentially uh, to unlock gameplay elements. Um, I always go, you can unlock these gameplay elements in two ways. You can use Joja Corporation or you can try to restore the, um, the community center. So if you use Joja Co, basically you unlock everything with money and you just try to get money, money, money to do things. Um, if you do things via the community center, you need to complete things called bundles by turning in items to the community center. So we've got a quest here. So rat problem. There's something odd going on in the community center. So we need to investigate. Uh, basically, the only thing we can do is look at this big shiny thing, which we can't read. Hello, bunch of random symbols. And that's pretty much all we can do at this stage to investigate. But yeah, so all of these different rooms are different sections that we will eventually be able to restore and unlock different things within the game. So that is definitely going to be a huge priority because I love unlocking the community center bundles. Um, one of the most useful, not useless, useful things you can unlock with the community center is uh, the minecart system, which is a system of shortcuts around Pelican Town. And of course, that's brilliant because getting around Pelican Town can be rather scary and long winded. OK, so let's just see if there's any chance I can say hi to Sam. Nope, he's still in bed. Sam likes to have a sleep in, <laughs> which is fine. I don't know you. That's nice, Jazz. Okay, and then, oh yeah, I need, so I need to see Pen, was it Penny who wanted the, yeah, Penny. Okay, not Leah. I always get those two confused. <laughs> it's, it's a problem. Let's see if I can find Penny then. Um, well, if the kids are heading towards the, she might actually be teaching the kids at the library today, which is convenient because we need to go there anyway to hand in our ancient sword. So let's go ahead and head to the museum. And there's Penny. Brilliant. Hello, love. If you dig in the dirt, you can find some interesting things. One time I found a really old piece of pottery. I bought it to Gunther and said it was over a thousand years old. Wow. Have a sardine. Hey, so you saw the notice I posted. I really appreciate it. Here's your payment as promised. You're welcome, honey, but I really wish you weren't paying me gold because I don't think you have much of it. Um, okay, cool. So then let's also donate to the museum. And we've got an ancient sword. So that's brilliant. Nice. Done. Dusted. Let's head to the mines. <laughs> um, but yeah, so what I mean by minecarts is like this guy here, for example, um, is part of a network of, uh, yeah, like a mini rail network around the town. So when that's unlocked, you can shortcut from the bus stop right next to your house to down here or up to the mines um, or to the quarry, which is a place we haven't quite discovered yet. But yeah, basically all around the town and it's really helpful. Hello. Oh, we found a book. <laughs> nice. Yay. So at some point we'll go ahead and read a lot of the books in the library as well. You can find some really interesting hints and tidbits. Um, by reading the library books. So we'll definitely go ahead and do that. But I usually collect quite a few of them before I do it. Ooh, look at all these leaks. Nice. Okay, let's say hi to Linus. How are you gorgeous? Please don't destroy my tent. It's happened before. Have we already given him two presents this week? I haven't. Oh, hey, Linus, would you like a leak? This is a great gift. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. It was literally just lying on the ground. So that's great. <laughs> Okay, so the mine entrance has moved. That's cool. Oh, just over here. Okay, so this is where the Adventurer's Guild used to be, but now it's over here, I guess. Nice. Third cutscene of the day. We are on a roll, people. Mmm. I was just wondering how far down this mine shaft goes. I'm gonna take care of some of the monsters in here before they start climbing out into the valley. I've met a lot of adventurers in my time. I recognize that look in your eye. Old age hasn't robbed me of my eyesight. All my skilled with a sword quite yet. Well, it's robbed you of half of your eyesight. <laughs> Take this weapon. Might not look like much, but it's imbued with magic. With it, you'll be able to battle the monsters in here. Woohoo! A rusty sword! Yay! Hopefully we can upgrade our sword pretty quickly because I hate working with crappy swords. <laughs> I'll keep my eye on you. Previous elf and I might think about making you a member. A member of what? 
<laughs> okay, but yeah, so this is the mines. Um, eventually we can clear this and head over there to meet someone mysterious. There is an elevator that we can use once we have unlocked more elevator stops. So essentially each level of the mine will spawn with a bunch of rocks that we can break and collect and underneath one of these rocks or hidden somewhere is a ladder to go down. Every five levels that you go down, you unlock... Um, one of the elevator stops so after you get down five levels then next time you can skip those five levels and not have to go through them again uh the mines are filled with monsters of varying difficulty at the moment we've just got slimes and bugs that's probably most of what we'll see for the first few layers oh man i got slime um, and to use the sword is quite simple you just swing it um, with clicking left click and then right click to block no did i get that the wrong way around I can't even remember. <laughs> oh dear. But it's fine. Okay, so wow. All right, so we've got pretty lucky on this level. You can see that the um, the way down is actually already visible, but you can also see, oh, I didn't sell my parsnips. Oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> um, you can also see that our inventory is already full, which is definitely not great for mine exploring. Um, but I definitely wouldn't mind seeing if we can, oh, I'm actually kind of tired, let's eat a leak. Um, if we can get down the first five levels, I think that would be a good goal to have. And we'll also go ahead and collect a bit of copper um, because that is a nice thing to do. And we're going to need copper to upgrade our tools. Uh, so just there you saw as well that a ladder appeared when I killed that bug. So that's the other way you can find ladders apart from through breaking rocks. So sometimes when you kill a monster, you'll get lucky and the ladder will spawn. Die, slimes. Okay. Listen. Whoops, I haven't got my sword out. Oh god. Oh god. Don't want to die to a slime. That would be very, very embarrassing. <laughs> And there's my ladder, so level four. Um, I'm also collecting quartz rocks. You will have seen me pick up a few of those, which we can smelt in a furnace um, into refined quartz, which is a very helpful ooh, crafting tool. Hello, that's a rock monster, a rock crab. Oh, ow. Not doing very well with the combat today. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm usually not this bad. Oh, and he's actually dropped a little bomb for us. So that's really cool. We will go ahead and pick that up. So occasionally monsters will drop these things. These are little bombs um, that you can use to clear a bunch of rocks at once. And look at that. That's actually given us our way down. So now we're at level five and you that, that ding means that the elevator just activated, which means we can now travel down to level five next time we come to the mines which is really good news. So I think I'm actually gonna leave it there for the mines today. Um, and to leave the mine, you can take the ladder or the elevator because I really see, wanna see if I can get to Pierre's and sell my parsnips. And also just maybe um, take care of a few of our, <laughs> our quests. So we need to reach level 40 in the mine, that's fine. Uh, we wanna go ahead and forge ahead. And um, today, because it's Friday, um, there will be a lot of people at the saloon tonight, including possibly Sam. And who else did we still need to meet? I don't remember. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. So, oh, have we not met Harvey or, or Abigail yet? Pfft, okay. Well, hopefully they will all be at the, at the saloon tonight and we can say hi to all of them. Yes, I've met Sebastian. And yes, I'm sure he would warm up to me. <laughs> yeah, love, love Sebastian. Love Sebastian long time. But yeah, it's really good to head to the saloon on a Friday night just to chat with everyone as well because chatting with people does increase your social level with them as well. So we'll definitely head down to the saloon and do that. Hey Pam, what's up? If only I'd been born rich. That is a stinking mood. And there's Sebastian himself. I don't really know you. I know, sweetie. That's why I'm talking to you. Oh, gosh. Everyone's heading to the saloon. There's Granny. This is amazing. Apparently, Victor comes to the saloon on a Friday night as well. Hi, Bonnie. Thinking about going to the saloon tonight? I may catch you there. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> but, oh, I ran straight past Pierre's. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Quick. Whew, I think we made it. Okay. So, yes. Let's go ahead. He was just walking away from the thing. Oh, man. Let's just actually sell all of those parsnips and then let's get 10 more parsnip seed packets and we'll keep the rest of that gold because I do want to be saving a little bit of gold to get that backpack upgrade as soon as I possibly can. Yep, everybody's coming up to the saloon. 
If you want to get on my good side, buy me a drink. Okay, cool. It's simpler to be friends with the trees. They don't have much to say. <laughs> also, I love your hat, Leah. And here's Haley. Yep, classic Haley just ignoring me. What a rude person. And there's Harvey the doctor. Hello. Oh, P oh no, that's Pierre. Oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> okay, they look very similar. Absolutely, I came to pet Dusty. But I can't because you're standing right in front of her. Him? Her? I don't know. Um, okay, so yeah, lots of people at the saloon on a Friday. And there's Sam, brilliant. Okay, so Abigail and Victor hang out here with Sam and Sebastian on a Friday night. Hey, I'm Sam, good to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you too, mate. Sorry, I'm not very good. Hmm, if I give the cue ball a bit of topspin, maybe I could. And then Sebastian's like, should I let Sam win for once? Nah, <laughs> he's a cutie. And let's say hi to Abigail. Oh, that's right, I heard someone new was moving onto that old farm. You heard right. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields myself. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I ruined your fun. Uh, the other things you can do in the arcade is uh, play a few of these mini games, which are ridiculously hard and I can never get it right. Don't you have work to do? Yes, but I thought I'd come here and talk to you instead. Um, yeah, I'm really bad at them. So basically, when I'm rich, I come to the saloon every Friday night, buy 20 beers and give them to all the people here and they all love me and it's brilliant. Uh, but I'm not very rich yet, so that's going to have to wait <laughs> for now. Good to see you, Elliot. Hello, Willie. Hello there. It's nice to see some young folk in the rally. It's not very common these days. Handling salty fish all day makes me real thirsty. And there's Marnie. She doesn't seem to notice I'm here because she's all distracted by uh, Mayor Lewis over here. Um, so it doesn't actually look like Harvey the Doctor does come to the saloon. Oh, that's annoying because he's literally like the last person I need to meet. I'm pretty sure. Yep. <laughs> Damn it. As well as, of course, the wizard and this guy. Um, but we only need to greet 31 people. So, yeah, that's interesting. I guess that the game... This version of the game gives you a little bit of a pass on not meeting 100% of the people um, before you achieve that. So that's all right. That's kind of nice. Okay, woohoo! We're back home, which is great. Let's go ahead and plant these parsnips and then grab our watering can and give them a little bit of a spritz. I did water everything else this morning, didn't I? <laughs> I hope so. Um, and then that line down there, I'm just going to leave blank for now. I don't want to overwhelm myself with crops um, to, to water and take care of every day. But I probably should fill that up with something else at some point. Maybe if we get some more mixed seeds or something. I don't know. Um, okay, so what am I doing? Let's go ahead and just pop everything into there. Um, and then I'll go ahead. I'm going to sell these ancient swords. Now that we've donated one to the museum, I'm confident to sell the rest. And then I'm pretty sure to craft a furnace, we need coal and stone, but I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Oh, it's 20 copper ore. Ooh, do we get, do we have 20? Oh, we have 18. Oh, rats, we're so close. Should have broken just one more copper bar while we're in the mines. Should we head back to the mines then? Oh, our energy's not great. Um... Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's head back to the mines and see if we can just get enough copper ore. Oh, no, we shouldn't. We shouldn't. Let's clear out more of our farm. Yes, that is a better idea. <laughs> that is a better idea. Let's just break all of these rocks and clear all of this stuff because potentially as well. Oh, did I not pick up my axe? Um, we will actually find a bit of copper by breaking rocks on our farm. I did not pick up my axe. That was dumb. Uh, which would be handy. Okay. So, yes. Let's just do as much farm clearing as we can. Oh, it's annoying me that my tools aren't in the right order. Um, okay. How do I usually have this? I don't know. Let's just put it like that for now. Okay. <laughs> wow. Have I not even cleared out this bridge once yet? Have we actually never been to this side of the farm? That's a bit exciting. New areas. Woohoo! Nah, I'm sure I've been over here. Where is my greenhouse? I think that's in the bottom corner of the farm in this version. 
because usually it's over here. Oh, although in Stardew Valley 1.5, you can actually now up, um, move the greenhouse, pick it up and move it around, which is super duper handy. I've always wished we could do that. And there, over there is Grandpa's shrine, which we can't even access yet. Oh, yes, we can. Looks like you'll need an upgraded pickaxe to destroy this dense stone. Yeah, so we need to destroy those stones with a copper pickaxe, I think. Um, we'll do the trick and then we'll be able to have a look at grandpa's shrine uh, But essentially We get judged on the quality of our farm after a couple of years And if it's really good we get a nice little reward that gives us something really handy And I won't say more than that at this stage because I don't want to spoil everything <laughs> and I don't think we've managed to collect any more copper ore yet, which is a which is a shame But that's all right. Oh, is that? Oh, hello I Pressed the wrong button. That's a leak just growing on our farm. Nice. <laughs> Have you guys seen um, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs? By the way, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2, I think it is, where they're like, there's a leak in the boat! And then there's a leak and it screams. It's like one of my favourite lines ever. Um, because I have a really lame sense of humour. Thank you for listening to my story. Okay. Let's go ahead and boop all of that up into there. And then we will go ahead and go to sleep because we're about to pass out. And I think we're going to go ahead. Oh, the doggy's in the bed. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I <laughs> Puppy, don't steal my bed. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and play through one more day because I really want to. Hey, we leveled up farming. Yes, so we can now craft a scarecrow and get basic fertilizer. We also leveled up mining so that we can now craft a cherry bomb, which is the one of those little things that we used in the mine today, which is fantastic. So we got 200 gold from our ancient swords. Not bad. Let's play through one more day because I really want to. All right, weather forecast for tomorrow. Clear and sunny old day. We haven't had much luck with rain, have we? Ooh, and the spirits are in good humor today. We'll have a little extra luck. Fantastic, because we're going to go mining. Okay, so we need wood, coal, and fiber to make a scarecrow, which we will definitely do because I do not want crows stealing my precious crops. Ooh, that's right. The wizard! My sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake in the stone tower. I may have information concerning your rat problem. D Rasmodius ah. wizard. I see you've been exploring the old mine. You've got the adventurous spirit. Uh, that I can tell. If you can slay 10 slimes, you'll have earned your place in my adventurous guild. Be careful, Marlin. Thank you, Marlin. Okay, so we need to slay 10 slimes and we need to go and meet the wizard. Oh, and we've got another letter. Robin here. I know there's a lot of stones scattered around your farm. If you have a surplus, you might consider having me build a well for you. Wells can be placed all over your farm and serve as convenient places to refill your watering can. Just swing by my shop with 75 stone and 1,000 gold when you're ready. Yeah, I'm not going to be ready for that for a little while, <laughs> to be honest, Robin, because the first thing I'm spending my gold on is a bigger backpack. And that is the truth. And we should really also go into the town and buy some more seeds as well. Oh no, I'm out of water. Um, maybe some more green bins to like complete that row because my OCD is going nuts with not having a row of five things there. So yeah, we could also do that. Oh my gosh, there's always so many things to do <laughs> in, at the same time when you first start playing Stardew Valley. It is crazy. And then let's run to, when does Piers open? Is that at eight or nine? I'm hoping it's at eight. <laughs> We're about to find out. Oh, it's this guy. Hello. Hey there, you're that new owner of Hillland Farm. My manager held a meeting about you. Oh my gosh, he did. I work part-time at Jojo Mart. Why the heck were you having a meeting? A... Oh yeah, <laughs> forget what I said about that meeting. It could get me in trouble. What the heck, man? So does that give us all of our meeting people's I think it does I don't know, whatever um, but yeah that's really creepy so apparently Morris like the guy who owns Jojo Mart had a meeting about me when I moved in oh and I think it's Mayor Lewis's birthday today no that's tomorrow okay that's fine anyone have extra seaweed Andy Andy will be pleased do I have seaweed you know what? I'm gonna accept that quest oh it only opens at nine um, and I don't have my fishing rod on me. Dang it. Otherwise, we could have gone down and done some fishing now to see if we could catch some seaweed. Let's check the bin. Nope. Um, hey, Sam. What's up? Hey, I just remembered that I was meaning to do something, but I forgot. This happens to me all the time. Oh, my God. Me too, man. 
Okay, that's fine. Um, it looks like the store will be open any second now. So let's just maybe check this bin as long as no one's around. Nope. And also let's pop in and say good morning to Granny and George. Oh, it's the doctor. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. Thank you so much, Harvey. It's lovely to meet you. And that means we finally met all the people. And now we have to give someone a gift. Well, we've already been doing that, but sure. Okay, so yeah, maybe let's get two more bean starters. And am I growing cauliflowers yet? I don't even know. I think I've got a few. Let's get five just in case. Um, and then let's also maybe grow some kale. Why not? Okay, beautiful. And I just spent all the gold that I said I was going to be saving for... Oh, cutscene! What, what is this cutscene? Is this a cutscene for me and the dog? Mm. Look at his little face! Oh, he's so happy to see me! Who's a good boy? <laughs> oh, whoever did this artwork is an absolute genius. Pet Dusty or don't pet Dusty? Well, of course we're going to pet Dusty. He loved it. Look at his happy little face. Oh, that was so cute. That was literally a cutscene just for me and the dog. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Okay. Right, so, yeah, we've still got to go and see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Stardew. So we'll go and do that, and then after that, we'll head all the way up to the mines, which is going to be quite a trek. Oh, and I need to craft a scarecrow as well. That's fine. Um, they might be cauliflowers growing there, actually, but I don't, yeah, I really don't remember. Okay, let's get some more beans growing. So obviously, they're going to be a little bit behind the other beans, but at the end of the day, it's going to be fine. Um, and then let's go ahead and... Plant. I'm pretty sure those are cauliflowers. So let's just plant three more there. My garden is already a complete mess. <laughs> I was actually planning on keeping this pretty organized, but clearly I've failed at that. That's fine. Got cauliflowers growing all over the shop. Now let's plant a bit of kale over here as well, because why the heck not? Let's just grow all of the things. Okay. 10.30 in the morning. Must be time to head down and uh, meet the wizard. Oh, and the scarecrow. I forgot about the scarecrow. Okay, that's okay. We have to pass back through the farm when we head up to the mines anyway. Another cutscene! Oh my goodness! Hey, Andy. What's up, Jojo Mart guy? Ah, it's a new farmer. How you doing on this fine sunny day? You caught me in the middle of tending to my crops. I'm spreading some new Georgia fertilizer on my field. I don't care, mate. I always use Georgia fertilizer. It makes my crops stronger and healthier. You want to bet, mate? You know what's better than Georgia fer fertilizer? Self-made fertilizer. Say, you're just starting out on Hill and Farm. I have something for you to help you out. Really? Straw? What? Strawberry seeds. Fairhaven Farm strawberries have a good reputation in Grampleton and Chestervale. Chestervale, that was the other town. Thank you. I'll be sending them your way once I have the time. These crops got me occupied. You have yourself a nice day, Bonnie. Get some dirt on you. Well, I was literally just working in the garden, so I assume I would have a bit of dirt on me. But that's actually super nice. Strawberries are very um, profitable crops, and usually you can't get them in the first year of Stardew Valley without, um, I think, getting them from the rare goods merchant. So that's actually, that's actually a really nice and very generous gift. Maybe I misjudged that guy. <laughs> Maybe. All right, so let's meet the wizard. Ugh, come in. I am Magnus Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane shoes, mediary between physical and ethereal, master of the seven elementals, keeper of the sacred chair. You get the point. And you, Bonnie, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Have you really? That's a little weird, man. Here, I'd like to show you something. Behold! Behold. Oh, what's a tune of Hello, little apple buddy. He's so cute. Mm. 
You've seen one before, haven't you? Yes, yes, I have. And it's definitely not a rat, Mayor Lewis. They call themselves the Junimers. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. I'm not sure why they've moved into the community centre, but you have no reason to fear them. Of course not, they're adorable. I saw this weird thing with weird symbols on it. Mm, you found a golden scroll written in an unknown language? Most interesting. Stay here, I'm going to go see for myself. I'll return shortly. Boop! Wish I could do that. She's just like, what the crap? Uh, I guess I'll just stay here. Whoa, he's back. Man, teleportation, that could be cool. I found the note. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. Nice. So I just need to be one with the forest. Let's make it happen, man. Let's do it. One with the forest, what do they mean? Ah! He's very excited. I feel like the wizard really, you know, enjoys being a wizard. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss scrub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? Yes, it smells divine. Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. I'd rather not. Thank you very much. Bonnie is a brave lass. Like, I don't know if I would drink something from this. Hey, it gave us 38 energy, though. Nice. She's feeling a little sick. The world is turning green. Whoa. Forest. Trees. <laughs> oh, God. Fantastic. Bonnie, are you okay? B Bonnie, are you okay? <laughs> You've gained the power of forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Junimo scrolls. Fantastic. Oh, and just like that, we're out. Okay, well, great meeting you, wizard. Thank you so much for making us one with the forest. That was a real trip and I really enjoyed it. And um, now we're going to head up to the mines and it's going to be a great time and we're just going to get back to normal life and um, <laughs> it's going to be wonderful. Now we should definitely also um, head back past the community centre to read the scroll so I can show you guys what I mean about the bundles in the community centre because that is a very important part of any playthrough of Stardew Valley. So what we will do is first of all put away a watering can and axe and then we will keep those and then I also needed fiber what was it fiber coal and wood for a scarecrow was it I don't remember yes sweet okay cool so we've got ourselves a scarecrow we're gonna plonk this one right in the middle here and it should protect all of those crops it sadly won't protect those ones over there uh, but I don't want to make another scarecrow just yet because I want to save my coal for the furnace um oh yeah we should have gotten a reward for that maybe yes 100 gold fantastic okay so yeah let's go ahead and go past the community center and head up to the mines hello Jazz and Penny and Vincent dad's coming back soon I hope he brings me some toys this is a small town. You can't avoid meeting everyone. True. I wonder what it's like to live in the city. Awful. You smell like grass. <laughs> Thanks, Jazz. You smell delightful, sweetheart. Um, hey, Jazz, would you like a flower? Maybe Penny would like a flower. Here you go, Penny. Thanks. This looks nice. Uh, she wasn't a huge fan of it, but now we have given someone a gift and got 100 gold for it. Not bad. All right. Cool. So, community centre, let's go ahead and drop in here. And we can basically now read the scroll. So, let's go take a look at this. So, this is the craft room. The reward for this is bridge repair. So, if we complete all of these bundles, we will repair the bridge that leads to an area called the quarry. So, spring foraging bundle. This one is going to be quite straightforward for us to complete. We need a horseradish, a daffodil, a leek, and a dandelion. I'm pretty sure we've got all of that stuff at home. 
Um, and then there's also construction bundles. So we need to donate wood, stone, and hardwood, which we can't do yet because we don't have the ability to get hardwood. There's a fall foraging bundle. There is a summer foraging bundle and a winter foraging bundle and also an exotic foraging bundle. So we actually got maple syrup, which is amazing because we can then donate that but yeah so basically and with this one we've only got five slots but there's like nine different items we can donate so the as we do this we'll get different rewards and basically yeah work our way towards um unlocking special game features which is very exciting okay we are back in the mines so let's go ahead and continue exploring uh we gotta remember as well that we gotta slay 10 of these little green guys so we will definitely do that and the other good thing about slaying monsters is that when you do become part of the Adventurers Guild, you actually get um, huge lists of things. Oh, damn. I failed at blocking. Um, that you want to, like, slay a lot of, and slimes is one of them. And after you slay a certain number of them, you unlock um, a slime charmer ring, which means that no slime can give you any damage whatsoever, which is super handy. Oh, nice. Nice. Alrighty, so we've made it down to level 10, which is very exciting. You can see we've unlocked the next elevator and we also have a chest with a reward. Yay! So we have picked up some leather boots, which is some special footwear that I will equip right away that gives us plus one defense and plus one immunity. So that's very, very helpful for further exploration in the mines. However, for today, that is where I am going to leave it because I am not confident of my <laughs> fighting abilities today. I seem to be failing a lot at defeating slimes, which is a bit sad. And um, also, I realize that this episode is ridiculously long and I need to draw it to a close very soon. So what we're going to do... Oh, that's really nice. Yes, he did, Robin, and I will do my best to fix it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to head right down into town to the Adventurers Guild, which I'm hoping we'll still be able to get into um, at this hour. I'm pretty sure it's open quite late. And we will go ahead and finish our initiation by entering the Adventurers Guild and get that taken care of. Take a look at the Adventurers Guild and everything that's involved with that. And then I will have to call it there. So let's just continue to head south. And then I believe this is it here. Fantastic. Yay! Okay, so... Oh, Gertrude. I could get used to the nice weather here. I do miss the dry heat of the desert, though. I've never seen this person before. Amazing! Hello! Uh, any plans for the weekend? I see you. Sounds interesting. Dot, dot, dot. Marlon, <laughs> Marlon doesn't feel like talking. I don't think Marlon's particularly talkative. Come back when you got shot me to show me, kid. That's Gil. All he's interested in is us completing these monster eradication goals. Help us keep the valley safe. So you can see here, they want us to kill 1,000 slimes. And there's a couple of things we haven't discovered yet. We've got cave insects, duggies. Those are those little like whack-a-mole things that pop out of the dirt. We've got rock crabs and a bunch of other stuff as well. So... As we complete those things, we will actually be able to um, get rewards, which is really good. And then from here as well, you can also buy new things. So Rusty Sword, um, 
mean, how much damage does this do? Does it even tell me? Three to eight damage. Okay, so we could get a wooden blade for three to seven damage, but that's not worth it because that's actually worse. We can get these rings, so increase weapon precision by 10% or increase knockback by 10%. We can also get sneakers if we want, and eventually there will be a lot more things for sale here that we can buy as well. Um, so yeah, basically as you want to explore the mines, you, wanna, you do want to kill the enemies as often as you can um, just to sort of keep those counts rising. Hi, Andy. Sure is nice having another farmer in the valley. You keep up the good work, you hear? Well, okay, Andy's a lot nicer than I originally thought, you guys. I feel kind of bad for being so anti-Andy. <laughs> Whoops. Um, but yeah, so we will continue to explore the mines. I usually go to the mines on rainy days and also in the first winter that we have, we will probably spend a lot of time in the mines um, exploring and getting deeper and deeper. And also, of course, in winter, we'll be focusing on upgrading our tools um, and all that kind of stuff as well. So that'll be good. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to go ahead and make this furnace, which is great. So now we have a furnace. Um, and to use that, basically, you need five ores and one coal, uh, which you pop into the furnace. And then um, you get a bar of whatever you have smelted after that. So you should, yes, we will do that. Oh yeah, that's right. Andy wanted seaweed. Okay, what I might grab is my fishing rod so that I remember next episode that I need to <laughs> try to catch him some seaweed. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll probably forget. Um, let's also just quickly run over here and fill up our watering can. I always try to do that before the end of the day. Our copper bar is ready. Oops, fantastic. Journal's updated with nothing. Okay. Cool, sweet. All right, well, we got a copper bar. Yay, us. <laughs> so that's brilliant. All right, guys, I'm definitely going to have to close this episode here. So I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button under the video. Hit subscribe if you're new around here. And if you are new around here, hi, um, please stick around. <laughs> also hit the notification bell so you know when new episodes come out. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.